Hey guys, just wanted to talk to you today about some of the uh, options that are out there on the market as far as concealed carry. Um, I personally carry the, uh, the old school Walther PPK. Um, this one's made by Smith & Wesson. Um, it does have an extended beaver tail on it, which is a nice feature that uh, uh, the Intertex don't have. Um, this rolls a, uh, a 7 and 1 capacity. Um, I run uh, Gold Dot 32 ACP through mine. Um, this one was actually part of the safety recalls they had a while back, so if you do pick one of these up, one of these up used, do look for that. Um, I chose this rather than a modern carry option because of the fact it has an external safety and it just has, as you saw, uh, a decocking feature to safely chamber around. Um, the drawbacks of this handgun being it's a solid steel handgun, so it is heavier. Um, the other drawback being that the uh, the first time you fire, it's a very long trigger pull, so unless you get really used to it, um, it will throw your sight picture off. Uh, and getting that first shot on target for concealed carry purposes is definitely essential. Um, so that's something to bear in mind when you go with this. Um, it is an updated, a little bit updated version of the standard PBK, which is a pretty cool history. Um, it's the gun that uh, James Bond made famous. And it's the gun that basically ended World War II when uh, Adolf Hitler decided to shoot himself in the head with it. So um, it's got that under its belt. Uh, there have been a lot of different variants of this. Um, the new one, the PBKS, made by Smith & Wesson, who are the only makers now of the PPK series, uh, is featured in the new James Bond movie. So I think these are going to see maybe a little pop and surge in popularity again, um, which would be pretty cool because I think these are a great handgun. Um, your plus, obviously, this is a solid steel handgun, so you can put a lot of rounds through this, and uh, there not be any issues. Um, you may not have that as much with your polymer guns, though obviously the modern polymer stuff that's out there now is pretty impressive. So, um, I brought a friend here with me who carries a, a much more modern uh, pistol, and I'd like him to talk about that, because um, obviously the Glock-style pistols are gaining in popularity, and um, he's going to talk about his. All right, uh, what I carry is a car, CM9. You can tell that the chamber is empty, so I'll be swinging this thing around. Um, the car CM9, it's obviously a new, modern-style carry option. It's uh, only 4 inches tall. The barrel's 3.1 inches. Um, it's 0.9 inches wide. So it's a very thin pistol. Um, and those are some of the things that lead it to be a very good carry option, as well as the fact that with it being a polymer frame, it's very light. Um, you may have heard about car PM9s, but the CM9, it's a little bit different because uh, some of the differences are you get less of the... Uh, scroll work on the slides and then also the milling on the slide is a lot less uh, intricate and then also this does not come with the polygonal barrel that the PM9 has. Um, as far as this pistol goes though it's just as reliable just as awesome as your standard PM9. It uh, I put about 400 rounds through it and I've had no malfunctions. Car says that there's a 200 round break in period. I didn't have any issues during that, so I was really happy about that. Uh, Car's big claim to fame is the smoothness of the trigger, and I'll show that to you now. It's just got a really, really just clean, clean, clean break. And that's it. And then the reset, I'll show you here, is right there. So, really clean break really smooth reset zero grittiness it's an awesome pistol i carry it every day um i carry it in this multi holster made by uh tony at multi holsters if you're looking for a holster he can make you whatever you want so that's pretty cool and then another thing to mention is uh the magazine capacity it's a six plus one i carry hydroshocks in it so 
Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a great pistol, you know, whether you go with a older style or a new style, it's, uh, it's up to you, but they'll both be great carry options.